We were asked to look at this from the point of view of the individual. Uh, and so one of the first questions we asked was whether energy should be uh, more invisible or more visible uh, to the individual, to the consumer. Uh, and what we decided was that um, it would be better if there were more empowered uh, and energy literate uh, consumers who were able to make choices over their own energy uh, and who were enabled to make these choices through uh, IT uh, and mobile technology. Uh, we wanted consumers to be able to manage and produce uh, their own energy. Uh, we espouse the idea of energy forecasts uh, so that people can uh, look out just as they would with a weather forecast uh, or whatever, and that people should be able to, to move through smart environments, whether that's living in a smart house uh, that can adjust itself to your energy usage uh, and manage that usage downwards, or living in a smart city, uh, or living in a smart village, or whatever environment uh, you're in. Um, this would have to be led by consumers, probably in the end uh, paid for uh, by uh, individuals and consumers, um, and then the other consideration is that with 9 billion people all probably having wearable uh, computers in some form, it's going to be absolutely vital uh, to ensure that this technology is all made uh, in an environmentally friendly way so that it's made from recycled materials or can be recycled so that we're actually uh, acutely aware of the resources that we're using uh, in creating this environment.